NI Multisim provides engineers with intuitive and easy-to-use dialogues to validate designs with advanced spice analyses. These analyses provide further understanding of circuit behavior. In this video, let's explore how to configure and run an AC analysis in Multisim. Let's begin by selecting a measurement probe from the instrument toolbar. We will use this probe to define a node of interest in our circuit. Let's select the output node. During an interactive simulation, the probe will provide you with transient measurement information such as current, voltage, and frequency. Double-click on the probe to view the Probe Properties dialog box. In the RefDesk field, let's enter a descriptive name for the node where we are placing the probe. In this case, let's name it Output. We'll click OK to apply the changes. Let's run an AC analysis to see how the measurement probe can be used to easily call out a node in our circuit. To do this, click on Simulate, Analyses, and then AC Analysis. With this dialog box, we can set the frequency parameters, output variables, and analysis options of the simulation. Each analysis in Multisim has a unique dialog box. For the Frequency Parameters tab, Let's keep the default options and move on to the Output tab. We can add output variables for the analysis. In this case, we have already added the voltage of the output probe. We can also add the current variable at the output probe by selecting Add. But in this case, let's remove the current variable and just take a look at the, output, at the voltage output. We'll click Simulate to run the analysis. A graph of the AC analysis will open in the Multisim Grapher window. This graph displays the magnitude and phase of the circuit. To easily view the simulated measurement, let's click on the reverse colors icon. With individual dialog interfaces for each analysis, Multisim ensures simple and quick access to advanced SPICE design validation. With a few intuitive steps, you can access the power of simulation to improve circuit behavior earlier in the design process.